astrology soulmates it's me stormy grace and welcome to your weekly horoscope for the week of november 2nd and if you're in a place that does daylight savings time hopefully you have survived that okay and you are on time just as we come into monday the second i know that last year I did not do well as far as clients and scheduling with the um, daylight savings time. So we got off track a little bit. Plus, you know, we consider at this time Mercury is retrograde. So hopefully you just, you made it through absolutely swimmingly, okay? Now, this is an interesting week. And dare I say the word election, but it is happening this week in the United States. It's an interesting energy. I think that when we think about things energetically and on the global stage, as countries are making big changes, that definitely ties into the energy of this global sphere. So there will be some energetics around that this week, but that is not all that is happening. There is a big sky. There's everyone's lives happening. So let's take a look at, yes, some of the election energy, but also what else is going on out there and how do we use it? Now, also this week, we're going to talk about elections. We're going to have Omari Martin coming over just here on the second to talk to us about electional astrology. And if you haven't seen Omari's work, he's absolutely phenomenal. And I'll just tell you too, if you've got any financial planning or any of that kind of stuff you need to do, talk to Omari, especially if you are a practicing astrologer. This is, he's just so wonderful. And at the end of the week, really on Thursday on the 5th, we're going to have Louise Eddington come. She is the, uh, the hooting owl if you haven't seen any of her beautiful astrology yet you'll enjoy uh, the talk that I have with her and we will be talking about asteroid series and she is fully into it so I can't wait to engage that energy so we'd love to see you at the eat and greets this week and remember you can always watch the eat and greets completely ad free by joining me over on patreon to do that the link is in the description box down below okay this week as we come in really the energies get going or they have like a peak to them on the third which is of course the day of the election here in the united states now what's significant about the day just astrologically is that mercury who is here in the energy of libra is going to come out of retrograde now mercury is coming out of retrograde in libra at 26 degrees so still grab your charts and look at this you know look do you have any natal placements that are at, that are at 26 degrees because if you do they will be making some kind of connection or aspect to the transiting mercury that's here at 26 degrees of libra so mercury is coming out of retrograde today remember as mercury comes out of retrograde it's wonderful we can get back to signing contracts making deals thinking forward all of these kinds of things but you want to give mercury a little bit of time as well he's got to wake up stretch get it together you know unpack from the trip that's what we do in the other half on the other side of the shadow side of a retrograde so mercury is coming direct little bit of a deep breath but if you can wait to make any really big decisions until mercury is able to get going and get moving on think about the 10th or the 11th he'll be back at least in the energy of scorpio then then you can really feel solid about some forward motion that you are making and taking so that's a big deal now i'll also ask you at this point what did you learn during this retrograde time what did you learn between the scorpio areas of your chart between 12 degrees of scorpio all the way back to zero degrees of scorpio and 29 degrees to 26 degrees of libra what did you learn what were you shown what did you go back over i know over here once mercury got back into libra i ended up going back and connecting with old relationships and older um, emails and stuff to other astrologers to come over for eat and greets and it was just beautifully you know synchronistic how it came together so i'd be interested to learn and know what did you learn now of course this energy having the mercury come direct at this time is also a really big deal around this election because the last time that we had an election and mercury was stationing it was actually stationing retrograde so this time it's stationing direct and the stationing day where a planet is kind of pausing and turning to do its next uh, movement are really remarkable because they're the hardest it's like the energy is trying to shift and turn so we have that mercury energy here at the election and 
it could cause some snafus and we have talked about that I feel like a hundred times on a million different channels so we're not going to go too far into it but where I would like you to consider is in your own life in your own business where that station may also again give you space where it's like hold on I need to reconsider this just a little bit longer now as we continue on and we go down and we get to the end of the week actually to Friday what we're going to see is that mercury who's just come direct okay now bonking into to Saturn, Pluto, and Jupiter. He's going to square all of them. So as Mercury comes into a square, specifically I think of with Saturn, we have, um, you know, I've, I've believed in something, I've held my stature on something or my position or my belief for a very long time on something, and now I have to have new information. I have to think differently. I maybe have to think um, more deeply about something. And either way, what I was really committed to communicating or what I was really committed to in my thought, it's changed. Circumstances have changed around it and I have to think differently about it. And it's the perfect day, I think, to, to pause to be on pause, to evaluate, to reevaluate. Mercury is direct, but he's not fully forward into that direct path as he was when he was at 12 degrees of Scorpio. So you have time, you've seen two sides of something, Scorpio and Libra things. Rethink it, still reevaluate your position on things. Now also when we see Mercury squaring over here into Pluto, this can be that I have to rethink this because I have and am pushed to deep transformation. I am challenged to Phoenix in some way, right? And it can feel a little bit intense. It can feel a little bit brutal, right? Is something going on in your life and as you get new information or the reveal happened from that full moon that happened just at the end of October, did that reveal put you in a position or did that lead to new information, put you in a position where you're having to kind of make an extreme change in your thought process or in a communication that you were dealing with. And this is not negative, but sometimes there is just a, you know, a record scratch that comes in here for us. Now, as Mercury squares in Jupiter here, this things get really big. Things can get really, really big, really, really fast. Information is not clear necessarily. It can be that you really think that you've been solid. You think you are committed to this thing. And I beg of you, just give it a couple days. Wait to make that big decision until next week because this could be a great error in judgment. What this energy this week is so good for is not hiding under a rock. Do you do the things you need to do? Put your head where your hands are so you can focus, you can pray, you can be in the now. But also allow yourself a pause this week if you need it. And more than anything, I suggest fully trust your intuition. Trust the still, the still small voice that you have grounded into to guide you, right? So if you're like, Stormy, I hear you, but I can't pause. This thing is telling me to go, 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 go. You have to trust you way more than you trust anything that I or anybody else says, but also this is the setup of the week, that the information is a bit blocked. It is a bit clear, and where your action under those squares is at is really to reflect. What have you seen? during this retrograde. What did you see there? This will be a beautiful set of energy for you to, oh my gosh. And it just occurs to me that even though it happened on Sunday instead of on Monday, if you're in a daylight savings time, we fell back. So that is, oh, the theme for this week comes at the end of the video. Fall back a minute this week, my friends, and let's evaluate the information that is out there so that you make sure you are just making the best decisions that you can with this Mercury here. Now, as we get into next week, energies will be revving forward. Mercury will be a bit more in his orbit moving forward. So we can really see some projects kind of take off from there. This is not a bad week. This is a pause and reflect week. This is a just watch what's happening, watch what you're thinking and evaluate, okay? All right, you guys, my goodness, like this video, comment, share, subscribe. I tried to shoot in a different 
angle of my office so that you guys can at least see something else. So hopefully it looks kind of cool, okay? I love you guys so, so much, and I look forward to seeing you next week. Bye, everybody.